morning, boys and girls. It's a beautiful Sunday. It's 10 to 7 with Teacher Kevin, so you know it's going to be a fun day. Let's look at 1 Tim chapter 4, 12, everyone. Don't let anyone look down on you because you were young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in life and love and faith and in purity. Preach. A few weeks ago, I shared about Jesus in the temple. He asked questions and listened to the teachers they assembled. The people were amazed at his answers and his understanding. And at the age of 12, the boy Jesus was outstanding. And you can do it too. Read your Bible and pray. Learn and teach to your neighbors. Live it out every day. And that was a 10 to 7 with your boy, Teacher Kevin. Hope you enjoyed the rest of the service. Hopes to remind you of heaven. Is that we're going to do it? Boy! I got to fight my bills. I have to fight being a little bit darker than everybody else. But there's only one side I want to fight on. So, tell me whose side you fighting on. I'm fighting on the Lord. Tell me whose side you fighting on. I'm fighting on the Lord. I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting on the Lord. I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, I'm fighting on the Lord. Tell me whose side you loving on. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Matthew six thirty three. Wilson Kipsang is one of the fastest long-distance marathon runners in the world. He has won an Olympic bronze medal and has been a world record holder. He raced to victory in cities like London, Berlin, Frankfurt, and New York City. But winning races is not his main goal. Wilson wants to show others what it looks like to live a life devoted to Christ. He wants his athletic success to be a platform for helping other runners, his fans, and his Kenyan countrymen. He runs so that others might catch a glimpse of Jesus. Wilson is first and foremost devoted to Jesus. His biggest fear is drifting away from his first love, Christ. He does not want to wake up one day to find that he has settled for personal fame or temporary things. Doing the right thing is trusting God and gripping His Word, no matter what others may say or do. If you have faith that what I'm doing, I'm not alone. The Holy Spirit is there, God is with me, to advise me, to take care of me. I will always know that I'm doing the right thing. And I always try to listen to the voice of God. Like Wilson, will you start your day by doing the right thing? Will you grab your Bible and spend time alone with the Lord? Will you read His Word, think on it, and then ask Him for wisdom as to how you are to apply it today? Or will you begin your day by focusing on things that won't last? Prayer is simply talking with God. Here's a sample prayer for seeking Him. Heavenly Father, I ask you to create in me a committed love and thirst for you and your holy word, the Bible. Give me the courage and resolve to surrender all of my life to you for your purposes and your glory. 